Hey, what's up everybody? It is time for some more Terraformer Punk here, and uh, today, guys, is the Blast Furnace Day. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get into making steel, tier 4 metal. Let's do it here. So we actually did most of the work, or I did most of the work off camera. <laughs> most of the stuff is prepared for this already. We need 8 double sheets for this thing and a crucible. So that is... Uh, Oh, it's all done here. Look at that. Amazing, right? Um, whenever I make this thing, it's like, oh wow, that's that's expensive. That's that's gonna take a bit of time. Cause like it took me probably an hour or two to get these sheets, right? <laughs> it's like, man, that's a lot of work. Um But then it's like, oh wait a minute, we need a whole lot of stuff besides that. This is like a super expensive item to get up and running. Okay, so we got our crucible. That takes the Ground up granite and uh, not granite, graphite and kaolinite. We, we get our crucible, we get our iron sheets that we process in the bloomery and the anvil and stuff. And now we have the blast furnace block. So thankfully, they do give us a little bit of fire clay as a reward here. We will take that. Um, and then they just want us to make the pig iron, so we need the thing set up before we can do that. So on its own, this block, you can see, doesn't do anything. <laughs> we need a, a structure to go along with it. So let's get to making that now. So first off, we need fire bricks. I think they're called fire bricks. We need these here. So it's mortar and five bricks each. We have to fire this in a, in a pit kiln. Okay, so we're going to need a lot of them. How much does that make? Just 10? We're going to need at least 20. <laughs> Probably need a lot more than that. Uh, but yeah, we got to fire these in the pit kiln. So we grab our straw. We decompress it. We load her up. Load it up with our logs. Hit the button. And that'll do our first batch. Cool, cool. So we're also going to need a bellows for this thing uh, to pump air in to get the fire hot enough. So three leather and six lumbers, another bellows. And I think the final thing we need for this is wrought iron sheets. Every layer of the blast furnace that we add needs 12 of these. We have five made right now. So I'm going to process up some of these blooms we got going here. Awesome, so the first batch of the fire bricks is done. We're gonna go on our second batch. We only have eight, unfortunately. Now again, keep in mind, this is not just clay, this is fire clay. <laughs> and uh, we can only make a little bit more of this. This is the end of our graphite supply over here. Um, and we actually need to make a little bit more of this because I remember we need another crucible as well for our structure here. So let's make one more crucible. Okay, and that's gonna leave us with six. Do we have any? We have eight left. Okay, another thing we need, uh, we're gonna weld two of these sheets together. In order to operate the blast furnace, you need, oh, I forget how to say it, to you? <laughs> this metal rod thing, whatever it's called, I don't know. Uh, double band, there we go. All right, here we go, everybody. This is exciting. Hours and hours of preparation have led up to this moment and uh not only that just months and months of infrastructure building up in the series <laughs> was required to get to this point beforehand but we're finally gonna be able to get into the steel tier which is uh pretty cool because i think there's very few things that are gated on that we could need to craft now i think we can pretty much make anything we want once we get steel um so that's cool of course, we'll still need infrastructure to get enough stuff to make what we want, but there's nothing out, outside of our reach now. Um, so we're going to set it up in this corner here next to our bloomery, because again, like the bloomery, we have to load it from the top, like put the stuff in from the top. So I kind of like having this hill here. Let's go over here and drop it in. Um, 
how do we do this? I think we need a space though. Like we don't want to put it right next to that dirt block there. We take our bricks two layers up. So the third layer here. Uh, I'm just going to put a ladder here for now so we can place these all around. Much like the blue Murray over there, we got to make a, like a chimney thing out of these fire bricks. These very expensive fire bricks. Like a so. And we can only make two layers. <laughs> this is a what you might call a, a baby blast furnace. Uh, so it's two layers. And the max you can have is five. So we're not even close to, to maxed out. Um, what we got to do is put the crucible at the bottom. Over here. I don't know if we need charcoal underneath that. Like a forge. We'll, we'll try it without to begin with here. Oh, it's not ready. Oh, yeah, we got to put the sheets on. So this is what these are for. You got to line the outside of these bricks with with the iron sheets. Each one, each side requires one. So that's a lot. <laughs> 12 per layer. And at five layers, it's like so much iron. It's insane. So much processing. So much time to get these things. Okay. There we go. There we go. And we gotta get rid of this. And I think that's good. So now let's try to place this again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's ready. Gotta get our bellows next to this so we can actually get it hot enough. Yeah, it's facing the right way. Good, good. I think it goes there. Or it might go on the crucible. I'm, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, yes. It's got an interface or in charcoal. This, uh, I'm gonna try to say it again. Two year? <laughs> The two-year goes up in the corner here, and this takes durability as you run the thing, so it's going to wear out, and you'll have to make another one eventually. Uh-huh. So I looked up this how to run this, and like the bloomery, each layer of this requires eight charcoal, and you can put eight ore in. With the blast furnace, it's four ore per layer, so it's half as much as the bloomery. So as we go up the tech levels here... It gets more and more grindy. <laughs> um, we load it from the top here. I think that means we only have to put in eight. Like if it's four per level. I think we can only handle eight charcoal then. So we throw that in. We got to get eight limonite. Four per layer, all right? If we had like a full-blown one though, that would be 20 we could put in. Like all five layers. Put that in, and we also have to put an equal amount of flux in. So, eight flux. Go along with that. Fills it to the top. And then, I think we just uh, light it over here. Let's double check. You gotta make sure you have more charcoal than ore in. We might need to add more charcoal. I'm not sure. Yeah, we, we right click it with the fire starter, and now it's running. And I have... Oh, it's, yeah, the charcoal's lower than the ore, so we have to add extra, actually, I think. I don't remember how to load it in. <laughs> Do we load it in here? I don't know. The charcoal is lower than the ore. I don't think it heats up or something. I don't remember, though. Okay, that's running. What does this thing say? It's empty. So I think as it smelts, it's the pig iron is going to end up in here. Right? Yeah, it's getting pretty hot. That's that's nice and toasty. Nothing's going in yet, though. Oh, and we need uh, molds, too. Let's go grab some molds real quick. Yeah. So, if I remember right, this won't smelt unless you constantly hit the bellows. It'll never get hot enough. So, we gotta kind of stand here. And, like, just tap this every so often. Is it going yet? Still not going yet. Okay. Let's get one of those ready for when it does go. We're at, we're at white hot here. I think we got to keep it at the white hot, hot for a little while. We still have enough charcoal in. Oh, the ore's going down. This is it. Yeah, the pig iron's flowing. Oh, snap. It's actually working. So I think that took four or five minutes before it finally started uh, melting here. And I had to keep it at the white hot the whole time so ideally we want something to right click for us <laughs> like to automate this um 
that's kind of the dream. But until we get that, I just have to stand here and right click for like five minutes, which is uh, a little a little tedious. So how much are we gonna get? Eight. We put in eight. I think it's empty now. Oh, it's still going. No, it's that's it. So with two layers, the most we can get is two ingots and eighty in the other one. So not even three ingots worth. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Oh snap! Okay, and then after it's done, cool this. Oh, did I overcool it? Might be too cold now. It says I can still work it. Okay, so we got to work it on the anvil next. We gotta work those impurities out. Uh, no, I went too far. Good. So that's our first. Wait, high carbon steel ingot? Is that. Uh, we gotta work it one more time? We don't want a high, high carbon. We want steel. There we go. That's the final product. So we gotta work it twice, actually. Uh huh. So we can make steel now. It is possible if we really want it. It's just incredibly tedious at the moment. So we wanna get this to five layers as soon as we can. Um. I want to check out, and we want to try automate this too. So I want to check out some st stuff here. Can we, uh, if we put the molds in here, is that going to put that in the right spot? If it's in the top. That's not where we want it. What if we do it again? Still goes to the top. What if there's something else up there? Can we put some lumber there? Oh, that'll work. Okay, so if we put a junk item there. Oh, no, Tackleberry. He's gonna figure out how to get me. He he figured it out. He's working his way around. These are the guys that always kill me. Tackleberry, Mahoney. <laughs> What's the other one? There's one more. Oh, the kill steal, and we got an item even. Black bronze chest plate. That's not very good. That's like tier two. All right, so check it out here. I did another batch of the pig iron. We're gonna cool it down. And then we'll see if uh, we unlock a quest here or, or anything. So we needed three of these uh, for over here. Oh, it did unlock some stuff. Okay, good. So we can get leather or a reward bag. You know, we're going to go for the reward bag. An epic one. Okay. Not terrible. Not great, though, either. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's see what that unlocked. I was hoping you would open a new chain, but it looks like it's, yeah, it's, it's just making steel stuff. Which we're not going to do. Not for a long time, probably. Uh, nothing new unlocked here? No? Okay, okay. Enter the automation is what I want. <laughs> Why won't it unlock? We probably got to do about time, right? Yeah, I think I think that's what it is. Um, so I was looking at uh, some stuff here, trying to find if there's any auto right clickers in this pack, and the only one I can think of is Computer Craft. I know you can right click with with the turtles, but this is expansive. This is like nuts. This is crazy. This is this is like, n yeah, we're not doing that for a long time. <laughs> uh, the uh, other thing I thought of is the pointer. This is from Open Blocks. This could be nice. So that's like, I can set that to the bellows on the steel maker and it allows me to remotely right click it. So I still have to right click it myself, but I don't have to stand here doing it. Um, I kind of remembered a trick I think with this as well. You can, like, it t I, I checked the video and it takes about two and a half minutes to do the smelt. And then once that time passes, then I think you can crank the bellows and it'll like happen instantly so I don't have to stand here the whole time I don't think do you guys know what time it is that's right it's time for your second favorite show in the whole wide world, candle making with 
Etho. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. So, are you tired of cheap dollar store candles that that leak down the sides that don't fit in your candle holders and are made with no love? No love candles? Of course you're sick of it. Everybody's sick of it. We want better candles, guys. How are we going to do it? We're going to make them ourselves, and you guys are going to follow along with me. If I can ever find some water. What happened to all my water? <laughs> oh, it's in the white barrel. Wait, 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 wait. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So first thing, what you're going to need to do is get a big, old barrel of water, throw it on your back, carry it over. You're going to need lots of water for this. Candles are not cheap. You think fire's... Fire is going to extinguish itself? No, no, no. Not until that candle's burnt out. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to continue rambling here. What else do we need? We need lumber, guys. Hickory lumber, if you have it, it burns a little bit hotter. But if you don't, you know, substitute with whatever you have. Um, okay, let's go up to our furnace here. We're going to light her up. Get some fire starter here. Rub your two sticks together. And we're ready to roll. Okay, so take your buckets and your barrel full of water that you carried over here. Fill them up. You can do up to three barrels at a time here. But I'm going to try to cook up this, this pork before it turns bad on us. So we're going to get that going. we got to get some hot water here. Not lukewarm. Hot. We need it hot. Make sure it's hot. Let's take out this vinegar. We don't need that anymore. Now we're gonna start filling up this barrel with hot water. Okay. And let's get another batch going. Good, good. So we got our barrel full of hot water that we cooked with love. Um, and now we take some of our bowls from your third favorite show in the world, Pottery with Etho. You remember the bowls we made? Might have been on an, another station. Uh, you, yeah, you get your, your ceramic bowls. And then, this is suet, prime suet from wild deer, killed at the peak season, of course. We take that, we fill up our bowls with suet, right? And then, we seal it in the hot water. This is going to take two hours, guys, two hours. But if you're, if you're anxious, you can just sleep away the night here, and it'll be ready in the morning, just in time for breakfast. Okay. Eat our little breakfast here. Should be done. We got bowls of tello now, okay? We're getting close. We're almost at the finished product. This is intense. Okay, so what do we do with this now? I'll tell you what. I know what I'm doing. Uh, we take wool yarn. We combine it with the tello. And we get a candle. <laughs> That's how you make the candles, guys. Now, if you want to get really fancy, guys... If you want to take your candles to the next level, you combine dye with the tello, and we can make colored candles. <laughs> oh, snap. Wait, wait, wait. I think we just add a, a wick to it now. No? What do we do with it now, guys? Let's check this out. So we can put that down. Can we color it? Oh, you apply it after. Yes, of course. Of course, guys, you apply it after. When else would you do it? And then I think we can light it with our torch and... It'll burn away. Hours remaining. Oh, so it does have a time to it. 900. I don't know if you can read the Wayla there. It says 975 hours remaining. That's pretty cool. So I think they they will burn out eventually. But it's not going to run down the sides because these are high quality candles we made ourselves. Uh-huh. So those candles are from the Terra Misk mod. And there was something else I wanted to check out here. There's a crossbow in this mod as well. I made this this gear just iron uh but you need to make bolts as well to shoot so let's make a couple of those you gotta get get iron or whatever tier metal you want to use the, the higher the tier the stronger they are apparently you make arrows like there's a bow and there's also a crossbow i want the crossbow so it's gonna be hits or punch and then hit okay there we go so that makes four per ingot, which isn't bad. They are a little expensive. The nice thing about the bolts, though, is they don't require feathers like arrows do. Make another one. Punch hits. 
There we go. All right, we got eight. That's probably good. So we just take those, combine them with sticks. We get a bunch of bolts. And let's see if those will go in our quiver. Uh-oh. <laughs> I found a flaw. Oh, that kind of sucks because that means it picks up another inventory space. So a lot of the animals we've been killing have been dropping these tendons. And it's like, man, what are these for? Why do we keep getting these? It's for this crossbow and the bow and stuff. <laughs> so you, you take a hammer, you smash it down, smash the tendons, you get sinew fiber. Combine them together and it makes sinew string. We cannot place it like string though. Okay, I was curious about that. And that's what we need for the crossbow. So two pieces. So we take a log, a knife, we cut out a bow limb, the gear and two pieces of leather. And that is a crossbow. What's the indicator? There we go. That must be it. No. <laughs> uh, okay. So it, uh, it clicks there. It's still not ready. Does it click again? And I just didn't notice. There we go. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so that's a long load time. That is definitely a long load time. Let's look for a target, though. Let's try this thing out. What kind of zombie is this? Just a regular zombie. Okay. So I, I'm hoping this at least one-shots him. Oh, it's close. He's got 19 health left. Hmm. And I don't think I can get the bolt back after I shoot something. I get it. It actually hits. I don't see it on the ground. Oh, here it is. Okay. You can get it back. That's good. Spider has 1,982 health. Almost... Almost did half the health. This is so much easier just to use a sword. I don't think I'm going to use the crossbow. It's not good enough. If it, if it could one-shot things, I would consider it, but nah. Well, actually, you know, I might have spoke a little too soon here because it looks like you can enchant this thing. So, yeah, if you get power five on this, it's actually probably pretty good. Because then I think it'll one shot things. So at the moment, probably won't use it. But later, definitely want to try it again. If we can get power five on it. But uh, anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I appreciate you watching. Um, don't quite know what I want to do next time. Thinking either we focus on building and working on our infrastructure or we look into doing some quests here so we can unlock more automation. I guess let me know what you would prefer in the comments. That's kind of my idea at the moment. One of the two. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Have a good day. Bye bye.